Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Rebellion. Lumos. potions you've brewed. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready.
Revelio. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Revelio. Levioso. <laughs> Professor Howell will never believe this. I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Rebellion. Professor Howell will never. 
never believe this. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Deke has... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, here I come. Accio! Revelio!
value. They cannot believe how many. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Rebellio. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion! Alohomora. Mine now, Deborah. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dora Core feather, it doesn't half hurt. Oh, 
you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rood and Peck said a customer lost a Dirichul round here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh, finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Rebellion. Hello. Mind you, don't take... Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derricall feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The crier knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 